Are you supplying a tomato-based product and want to raise quality control at the same time as lowering cost? Then we might have a solution for you. Welcome to Electron Machine Corporation, manufacturer of the world's most rugged refractometer. Our refractometer is used in a variety of industries throughout the world. The next series of videos will highlight some of the most common applications for our refractometers. Today we have our NPR e-scan set up in a static display. We have a variety of tomato products that we are going to test to show you how the e-scan refractometer can read and measure different tomato products. For our first product, we're going to start with a tomato condensed soup. Bricks readings for condensed soup are important because it allows you to evaporate the water out of the process by maintaining a consistent product. That way when you combine your next can of water with the can of condensed soup, you get a similar taste to process. Here we have what we would read as a 14 bricks unit. That doesn't necessarily machine how much sugar is in there. It's just letting you know that most of the water has been evaporated out of it. So we'll switch products. For our next product, we're going to try this tomato sauce. Who thinks it's going to be less than the condensed soup? Considerably less than the condensed soup, and we would expect that. It has more water in it. For this one, we're going to try something a little different. We're going to do the ketchup before we go to the tomato paste, because the tomato paste would be hard to clean off. This is no sugar added tomato ketchup. So as you can see, it does give a different reading. So, so far we have been able to tell the difference between a condensed soup, a tomato sauce, and a ketchup. Now we're gonna go with a straight tomato paste. This was the highest one yet, and this really has nothing in it but tomato paste and a little citric acid. So the e-scan behind me was set up on a static display. Normally it would be installed in a pipeline to measure your process as you're flowing the product through or cooking it up. And as we could tell, between the different products, we have different readings. And usually that's because some of them have sugars added, but also because it's the difference between the amount of water. Whether you're crushing them, condensing them, or turning them into tomato paste or ketchup, the NPRE scan can read all of your products and help you become with a more consistent quality control. 